hello we are back uh, with another react tutorial uh, in this tutorial we will be creating a zoom effect so what i mean is when you hover your mouse over an image uh, we will show the zoomed in version uh, kind of showing more details so i guess let's just jump into it uh, what i have here is a react project like what we do uh, fairly blank and the structure is i have imported two images one is the gadget image so this is the large version the full scale and then I have the thumb version uh, this is the uh, I think it's a 400 by 400 pixel so you know just like a thumbnail uh, and what I've done is I've added transparency that's with PNG uh, just uh, you know make it more nice so I'm gonna close this uh, and then I've added my style components as a dependence all right so let's talk about the structure how we're gonna do this so what I'm gonna have here is I'll get rid of this and I'll add some comments to clear my thoughts uh, and uh, you can do it this way all right so we're gonna have a container right and within that container I'm gonna have two images so I'm gonna have a source image and then I'm going to have a target image so whenever somebody hovers their mouse over the container uh, we're going to show the target image the large image and as you move your mouse around on the container then we'll be uh, you know uh, showing the respective part so I guess we'll uh, get to it when we get to it all right so let's uh, import some dependencies shall we so I'll import style components all right so once I have that then I can start creating the container uh, and uh, the rest of the stuff so I'll come here and create the container quickly Alright, so as you can see, I have the container. Uh, I've given it the position of relative. This is very important uh, because the large image that we'll be placing inside is going to have an absolute position. And uh, if you don't do that, then the image is going to spill out of it. Uh, and then the rest is honestly just overflow hidden. Uh, we don't want to show the, uh, you know, any overflows. So now I'm going to add this container here. Alright, so I have the container here. As you can see, it's a tiny circle here. Uh, because there's nothing in it so a div by itself has no dimensions unless you put stuff in it so what we can do is actually start showing the images at this point so before I do that I'm gonna go ahead and add an image start component and then we can use that uh, you know to do our stuff I'll quickly add that Right, so let's see there's a lot going on here well actually not that much so I've created an image uh, style component uh, and then what I've done is I have just kind of reused it so I'm inheriting the properties from this one which is mainly the source uh, and looks like I have added this on this one I don't need this so what's happening is you if you want to pass in the attribute like the source to the image you want to do it this way in style components can look up more in the documentation uh, we create the target the target is an absolute uh, position element uh, and then the left the top and the opacity are all controlled by the props that we'll be passing in so now let's uh, let's use these here all right so I've added the two uh, tags uh, the image and the target now of course it's complaining because we need to pass in the offset uh, and the, the props here. So what we can do is we can start uh, adding those. So this offset is opacity there will be just uh, react states. So why don't I go ahead and add these quickly here. Right, so I've defined them here but of course it doesn't know about it so what I can do is I can say here that opacity is equal to my opacity and offset is equal to offset all right so here we go so we're showing the now source image or the thumbnail image uh, and the other image is hidden because the opacity 
is zero at this point. So now we need to come in and start doing the fun stuff, which is, uh, you know, uh, working with this container. So we need a couple of uh, uh, mouse handlers. Uh, so we're gonna add three and uh, I'm gonna add them and I'll explain them. All right, so I have the mouse enter, mouse leave, mouse move, pretty standard. And I'm just going to define them here. Okay, so here are the handlers. The bulk of the work happens in the mouse move uh, because we're tracking the mouse position. In the other one, we're just uh, setting the opacity on and off just to show the image. So why don't we go ahead and start with that. So in the mouse enter, what I can do is I'll just say uh, set opacity to one, right? And then I can copy this and then in the mouse leave, I can set this to zero. So at least, uh, you know, there we go. So when I enter the mouse enters my container, uh, I can see the large image and once they move away then yeah so that's pretty good uh, and uh, and the reason why remember we did this relative is, is for the image to show inside here if I remove this and then I do it there you go that's your problem see how it's spilling outside so yeah so that's why you want to do that that's very important all right so now that we have that taken care of uh, what we need to do is on mouse move we need to start tracking uh, the, the mouse position and start setting the offset so we can move the large image around. So let's go uh, do that. But before I do that, I need a reference to my container, to my uh, source image and all that uh, so that we can get the width and heights uh, because we'll be needing them. So I'm going to add the refs here. like so all right so we got our refs uh, all placed in so now we can come over here in the mouse move and uh, i need to press this e so we can get uh, the coordinates and we can start uh, actually using these so what i can do is first of all i'll come here and get a get a reference to the uh, client uh, rectangle All right, so now that we have, excuse me, now that we have the references, and the reason why I'm using this uh, client bounding rectangle is, uh, it'll actually give you the the width uh, and the position, everything with padding, margin, everything included. So I can show you this on the uh, developer website. All right, so if I come here, uh, you can see the the element on da 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 returns that. So here, uh, this is important. The return value is a rectangle which contains the entire element, including its padding and border width. All right, so now that I have these references, uh, what I can do is we need to develop a ratio uh, because the we need to see how big the small image is compared to the large image because when you move your mouse around, we want to multiply by that ratio uh, so that we can get the correct position. So if, for example, if my mouse is hovering on that screw in the back, then I want to show the screw on the large image. Or if my mouse is hovering over on those nostrils or those holes, then I want to show those on my large image. So that's why I'm going to uh, uh, set up the ratio. So we can start with the X ratio. And the way we can define this is we can say that target uh, rect, right, that's my target. Uh, and then we take its width and we subtract it from the container rectangle dot width, right? And then we divide it by the source rect dot width. Actually, so let's let's not do this one yet. It's not important yet. So I'll just leave this like this. We just uh, pretty standard. We just set up a ratio between the x and the y, and then this one is going to be the height. And then this one is going to be the height, right? So once I have that, then what I can do is I can say that, um, you know, set offset, right? And then I can say left is the left 
right? And then you times it by the X ratio. Now, remember, you're not going to multiply by the uh, X ratio as is. You want to multiply it by minus. The reason is if I'm moving to the right, right, then I want to move that image, the uh, target image, the large image, move to the left. Uh, and then for the other side, for the top, uh, I can say top into minus Y ratio, right? Uh, okay, so now we can add the left and the top. So I can say left is equal to e dot page x and a source rec dot width. Then for the top, I can, uh, yep, the top, I can say e dot page y minus source rec dot height. Actually not height, it should be top. Okay, so once I do that, then I can come here, move my mouse around and I can see the item moving but one of the problem is as you can see uh, um, it's actually offset so you see how much offset it is I want this to be right on the edge and then for the bottom uh, it's way off so we need to uh, come and fix these and one other thing we need to do to fix this is actually this should be left not with that's why we're having that uh, massive offset so here we go so that fixes that problem so I think we're okay here so if you're not doing any padding on the image, then this method works well. So, but let's say you come in here and you are going to do some padding. Because I'll give this uh, source image a little bit more breathing room. Then you run into this problem where, uh, here we go. You see the edge, how it's offset by that many pixels. So we need to take that into account. So what I can do is I can come over here and fix that in here. So I'll write this first and then I'll explain it. All right, so now that I have that, so let's see, there we go. So now that issue is gone, it's because we are off taking that offset into account. And so let me explain this, how this works. I'll just bring in Photoshop. All right, so as you can see, I have the document here and I have Drawing here, so the outside is the document, uh, and then the this is my image, and then I've added so the padding. So I just I can explain the concept. So now, as you can see, here's my mouse cursor. So what I do is I take the mouse cursor, subtract the left edge. But now, if I padding, then the edge is from here. So if I'm on this side, then this number will be actually uh, a small number, a negative number, because if my mouse is here, this is here, so this minus this will be a negative number. So what this will do, the math.min is just going to take the minimum of that, which will be this negative number. And the reason why we do this is because when it goes out and goes into the math.max, then we will pick the zero because out of the min of the negative number, zero is larger. So what this will do is this will snap my target image right to this corner. Now let's say I move my mouse over here to this far side, then in that case, the mouse position minus this position is a positive number. So in that case, we'll take the width of the actual image, which will give me this uh, corner. And then what I say is um, when we go outside and then we do the method max, then I take the larger number, which is the width. And that will help in us in positioning the outside edge to the uh, outside of the um, the target image to the outside edge so i hope that explained and this will help with the uh, all the issues we were having so now i can just uh, spice things up a bit and maybe add a little bit of a uh, hover and box shadow you know why not because we can there you go so i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learn from it if there's anything more uh, just let me know shoot me a line please like and subscribe that helps create more videos interesting videos and uh, i'll be out for now bye